Welcome to another DK Custom Products video. I'm Dwayne, this is Kevin. And today Kevin and I are gonna show you how to get rid of those pesky check engine light or diagnostic codes on your Harley Davidson. So a lot of times you get a check engine light and you wonder, you know, what's, what's wrong with the bike? It could have been something just as simple as a light bulb was burned out. You fixed the light bulb, you replaced it, you put it back in, but yeah. the check engine light's still on because the code hasn't been cleared. And so there are dozens and dozens of codes and uh, we're gonna show you right here how to check them. The first thing you do is make sure your run switch is on, not on off, make sure your ignition is off. And then depending on which bike you have, on 14 and up touring models, the odometer reset button is right here. You hold this down and turn the ignition key on and it comes up diagnostic right there and then you just hit this re uh, odometer reset button one time and it says ECM yes there's codes BCM yes there's codes speedo yes there's codes ABS yes there's codes radio yes there's codes so i have codes in every possible department we'll discuss that in a minute but let's go back and you can just toggle through these let's go to the bcm and it says yes and what you do when you want to see what the code is you hold this button down right here until the code shows up on the screen so we have a code b2116 and then i can toggle it and see if there's more B2151, B2156, B2201. So I have all kinds of codes. We're gonna talk about why I have so many codes shortly. So let's look up a code real quick here. So 2218. So just to be clear on different bikes, the button to access this information is in different places. Like on a Sportster, for example, you know, it's very basic. You reach around behind the Speedo and there's a little button back there. On a lot of the older dressers or baggers or dinas, uh, on the side of your dash, there's that little odometer reset button. So there's a process for holding that down and seeing the diagnostic information. But on Kevin's bike, obviously it's a 2014 and up. They're all gonna have the little button there to access that menu. So every bike's gonna be a little different, but the process is gonna be generally the same. The other thing that's important, make sure the bike is on run, because a lot of people pull their bike in, hit the off button, and and then they try and do this and they forget to put it on run it's got to be right. on run for right and just to clarify something we're not telling you just clear your codes out of sight out of mind problem is gone <laughs> you know as long as you don't see a code you don't have a problem but some of these codes are just historic logging data codes like for example uh, if you have straight pipe exhaust and you decelerate hard enough you'll get what's called reversion, fresh air sucking back up into the exhaust system. And if, that's if you don't have thunder torque inserts. Right, to block it, right. Yeah. but uh -huh. on some occasions that can get up there and it'll trigger a check engine light because your O2 sensor thinks maybe there's an exhaust leak too or lean. there's too uh -huh. much oxygen in there so it's a lean condition. In fact, it's not a lean condition, it's just a one-time situation. So if you were to clear that code and it never came back, you didn't really have an issue. But if that code persists, then you want to address the potential for an exhaust leak or a lean condition. And the reason that we see so many uh, codes on, on my bike that we just did is because we just were turning <laughs> that, we disconnected the automatic compression release, we disconnected the fuel uh, feed, and then we were turning the bike over. It registered all right, kinds right. of air. Yeah, so it literally was lit up like a Christmas tree right. because of that. So let's look at the 2118 code that we got. Looking up code 2118, we see, what is it, Dwayne? It's a fuel pump output shortage low. So why would it be saying that if you know you don't have a problem with your fuel pump? Well, we had the, we had the, the fuel line disconnected when we were doing the compression test. Right, and turning the engine over so right. fuel didn't pump through the system. So again, that's just an historic data log code, not indicative of an issue. And a lot of these codes, uh, you can, you know, you can Google these codes because a lot of them, it's an industry standard. For example, PO131, that's a low voltage O2 sensor reading. If you have a GM, a Chevrolet truck, you get that same code, it means the exact same thing. So a lot of this verbiage is universal. When you're ready to clear the code, you just hold this button until it says clear. Now that code is gone. 
And so we can turn the ignition off now. And let's go back and let's see if that code is still there. Turn the ignition on. Diagnostic, B ECM, BCM, and it says there's no codes there. So what happens, you want to record all your codes so that you can look them up because you think you might just be clearing one code when you hold it down, but it's going to clear all the codes within that uh, particular module. So in other codes that we saw, we got 1655, 1656, mm -hmm. and if we look that up, it, it shows that that's the automatic compression release ACR, which we disconnected right. to do our compression test. We disconnected that to do the compression test, so obviously it's going to throw an error. Once we clear that code, it should not come back right. as long as we plug the ACRs back in correctly. So what, again, what's really important is that you record these codes, write them down, take a picture, record it however you want to do it, because once you hit clear, they're gone. So your bike will collect the BCM codes. You might have four or five codes there. If you hit clear, all four or five codes are gone. And they're not, you're not going to know what they are until maybe they pop back up in the future. So right. always record the information before you clear it. And the other big question people have, how do I know if I have a historical problem, a problem that occurred in the past mm -hmm. but is not occurring now, or how do I know that I have an ongoing problem? So you see the code, do what you say, record them all, clear them, and then go through the whole procedure again. If the code does not come back, it means it's historical. It's something that happened in the past. It's not currently happening. But if that code comes back, even after you've cleared it, it means that that problem is ongoing. You still have that problem. So, for instance, on the ACR code that we got, yep. cleared it. If we turned the bike off, turned it back on, checked the codes again, if it came back, then that's a current problem, which means we didn't plug that in uh, when we put it back together all the way. So that's how you know what's going on with your bike. We hope you found this video useful. If you feel that there's anything Kevin and I have missed in this overview of checking your check engine light and, and uh, doing away with those pesky lights, uh, let us know in the comments below or shoot us an email to support at dkcustomproducts.com. Y'all ride safe out there.